facts about every fruit that you probably didn't know, like this fruit, which is dirt cheap and can go faster than the light fruit or the rocket fruit, and how it used to be called the kilo fruit, and it used to cost a whopping 80,000 instead of the current 5,000. And also, another fun fact about this fruit is that if you come over to this doghouse right here, and if you talk to it, you can actually buy the physical form of this fruit with Robux. Okay, sure. And would you like to buy a physical kilo fruit? What? Are, are, are we gonna buy a kilo fruit from this? All right, buy. Oh, no. Oh. I got a rocket fruit. What did I expect? But yeah, this is the only physical fruit that you can buy with Robux. But the next fact is that spin used to cost 180,000 instead of the current 7,500. I am glad that it got changed because spin is pretty trash. But back then, when it used to cost 180,000, it didn't actually used to be that bad because the C move used to auto track. Look at this, bro, all of them hit. Now, of course, this was actually pretty OP, but uh, now it kind of got changed to this, which is uh, kind of sad. All right, next up is the top fruit. Now, the most fun fact about this fruit is that it's immune to every single sword in the game, which also includes the true triple dark blade. Look at this. It literally does not affect me at all. I am too powerful to take damage from the true triple dark blade, but there is a sword that can actually bypass chop and that is the Rengoku sword. Now here's a Rengoku user right here. Now they're gonna use the Zemu on me. Well, I didn't take any damage, even though I was literally on fire, but they were able to hit me. And speaking of hitting things, how about you hit that subscribe button in under three seconds? Ready? Three, two, one. I hope you subscribed. Anyways, remember that one fruit that I mentioned before that is dirt cheap and is faster than the light fruit? Well, oh well, it is the spring fruit. Now you might be wondering, how is the spring fruit faster than light? Let me show you. Oh, look at that. We are ahead of the light fruit by literally just bouncing. Oh yeah, lost that one, huh? Well, it's confirmed. Light is literally slower than a man bouncing around. But anyways, the next fruit is with the bomb fruit. Now, this fruit has the most knockback move in the entire game. Look at this. Bro literally went flying. Oh my god. He's literally outside the arena now. But yeah, safe to say, a lot of knockback. It's literally game over if you get hit by this. Look at this. Oh my god, now I'm outside the arena. Yeah, I quite literally went flying. Anyways, the next one is with the smoke fruit. Now, the smoke fruit is technically the most powerful fruit in the entire game. Because this F move right here, it has the capability to deal infinite damage. I can go on forever. Look at that damage stacking up. It is not gonna end. It's literally not gonna end. I can literally go to these NPCs right here and literally do the same. And they can't stop me because I'm flying. They literally cannot stop me. I am too overpowered for this. Oh, oh, may maybe they can. But this fruit is one of the only two elemental fruits that have not gotten an awakening yet. The second one, I'll tell you about that second fruit later. All right, but the next fact is about the spike fruit. And this is the only common fruit that does not have a F move. Look at that. No F move. But it does have a V move, which if you just tap, it does like four spikes. But if you hold the V move, then it does, oh my god. How many spikes was that? Yeah, well, I didn't count, but it is it is definitely more than four spikes if you hold it. But there's another cool thing about the C move. Look at this. If we both use the C move, then we clash each other, which is pretty cool actually. Anyways, the next fact is with the flame fruit. And the flame fruit is the cheapest fruit with an awakening. And it is also one of the very first fruits to ever get an awakening. But because this was the very first awakening, it got through a lot of changes. The entire awakening moveset has been reworked and the Z move has been reworked like thrice. So this is what the Z move used to look like before. This is what the Z move looks like now. It's blue. And also all the other moves looked very different too. The X move looks like this right now. It used to look like this. And the C move right now looks like this. Pretty clean. But before it used to look like this. And the V move. Oh man. Oh, this looks great now. But before it used to look like this. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of this one. All right, next up is the Falcon Fruit. Now, the Falcon transformation gives a nice jump boost that uh, a lot of people don't know about. 
Look at this. So this is how much I can jump normally. And with Falcon, this is how much I can jump. I can literally make it onto the ledge. Look at him struggling to jump up there. And here's me. I can just jump up easily. All right, but the next one is with the ice boot. And it is with the F move. You know, pretty cool move. But we can actually go on walls with this move. I'm literally wall running right now. <laughs> oh my god. Not only that, this F move can actually glitch through thin walls. Look at this. I just went through the wall like it was nothing. Yeah, pretty interesting fact right there. There's actually another cool fact about this fruit. It is the only fruit that can walk on water while it's unawakened. And there's actually another fruit that can walk on water, but it needs to get awakened. I'll show you that one later though. All right, but the next fact is with sand. And uh, this fact is not very fun because uh, sand, as everybody knows it, takes two times damage in water. Oh, oh, oh that was a bit too fast so this is a sand user with shark v1 and here is me a regular sand user you still take two times damage in water it literally doesn't matter yeah not a very fun fact right there all right the next fact is this is the lowest rarity fruit with a teleport move which is also pretty cool. All right, but the next one is with diamond. Now the diamond transformation is pretty good because look at this. Normally, I take 1,797 damage, but with diamond, I take only 1,348. And if I just activate my aura, now I only take 955 damage, which is a great reduction from 1,700 and whatever. I, I forgot. All right, but the next one is with the light fruit, specifically with this light spear that I'm holding. Now, this light spear was actually a sword before, and it used to look like this. Yeah, pretty garbage, I'm not gonna lie. And now it got changed to what we have now, which is the light spear. Now, honestly, this light spear is much cooler than any sword we had before. But while we're talking about the past, let me talk about the V move. This V move, originally the V move was literally the flight yeah the flight it was just the flight so yeah light actually didn't used to have a f move which is a fact that i definitely did not know but the next fact is with the rubber fruit now the rubber fruit was originally called gum which is a pretty odd name and the x move right now is kind of like this but before it used to be called gum rocket and it used to do this what the hell what is that supposed to be and not only that the v move was also different so the v move was actually the rush move this is the rush move now it's on c before it used to be on v look at this bro he's using gatling on the v move but now the v move is uh this honestly a big upgrade from before and also another cool thing about rubber is that you used to be able to grab fruits with your moves I'm so sad that they removed this feature, but uh, th that is a light fruit. It looks so bad. Rubber has the most amount of immunities in the entire game. It is immune to all guns. It is also immune to rumble. And it is also immune to the electric fighting style. But it is not immune to pole v1 or pole v2. And also not uh, immune to electric claw as well, which is a... Uh, kind of strange i guess it should be but you know what all those immunities are also pretty good too anyways the next fact is about barrier when you use the c move you are immune to all damage look at him look at him trying to hurt me oh 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 oh, oh. i was literally immune to all damage all right the next fact is about the ghost fruit now the ghost fruit was previously called the revive fruit and the skills were much different the z move used to look like this but now the z move looks like this the x move used to be this now the X move is this. The C move used to actually be the resurrection skill where you had to use it to get resurrected. And back then, when you used to get resurrected, you would turn into a skeleton. Now, normally if you die with the ghost fruit now, you automatically get resurrected. You don't need to use any skills. And look, I am now a ghost. And also, unlike before, I now have a V move. Look at this. I can summon my ghost. And one cool thing about them is that I can control them. Watch. Get him, boys, get him. No, 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 come, come back, boys, come back. I can literally control them. You wanna know how? If I equip my ghost fruit, then they'll attack the nearest enemy. But if I just unequip it, then they'll come back to me. It's actually surprising how many people don't know this fact. All right, the next fact is about the magma fruit. Now, of course, the most obvious fact is that it's the highest damaging fruit. Look at that, two skills, look at that damage. Bro, he's literally dead. Oh my God, the entire damage is crazy. And also one more cool fact about this fruit is that if you use the F move of magma, look at this. 
I'm taking damage, but it doesn't get canceled. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Bro, grab me, but my move still has not canceled. That's actually crazy. But the next fact is about the Quake Fruit. This V move that I just did is the largest AoE in the entire game. Look at this. You cannot dodge that. Oh my god. Literally covered the entire area. Not only that, this V move is also the most expensive move to awaken, costing a solid 8,000 fragments. 8,000. All the other fruits V move cost like 5,000, but this fruit, 8,000. Thousand. But the next fact is about the Buddha fruit. Now, the, oh my god, that looks so cursed. Now, the Buddha fruit is especially useful because look at this the big sword glitch. Look at how big my sword is. So, that's one of the more useful things about Buddha. But not only that, there's even more interesting facts about its past. Instead of how it is right now, just it's called Buddha, it used to be called human Buddha, which was a uh, odd and the old buddha actually used to give you extra health instead of now it gives you defense buff look at this it damaged me like 2200 something but if i transform it halves my damage it only gave me 1213 damage that's actually crazy but the next fact is about the love fruit and it's even crazier than the buddha fruit now here's my best of friend though everybody knows he just attacks anyone he sees Right, look, he's attacking them. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, come back, come back, come back. If I have my love fruit equipped, my best friend will attack. But if I don't have my love fruit equipped, then he'll just come back. But the next fact is actually crazy. So you know when you're on the love flamingo, then you can't use anything else. None of the fighting style, everything, look, look how everything is like blacked out. And you can only use the love fruit and love fruit only. But if you just plug a controller in, I plug the controller right there, console mode activated. And now look at this. Everything is like controller keys and I'm using a controller right now. If I just use the flamingo right, look at this, I can use everything else. I am literally using the sword calendar while I am on a flamingo. I'm even using the dark blade. Oh yeah, I call this the flamingo air slash. He, he literally dosed it. But yeah, pretty cool fact indeed. I actually didn't know this one. But anyways, the next fact is about the spider fruit. The unawakened Simu has the most strange out of any fruit in the entire game. My target is all the way over here, really far away. And I'm gonna be all the way over here. And look at this. See move. There we go. We hit him. We literally hit him. Bro was so far away. So yeah, safe to say this has the most range out of any fruit in the entire game. And also, another cool thing about this is that the further your enemy is, the more damage you deal. So right here, I dealt 2,911. And if I go closer to them and do the same move, then I only deal 2,093 damage, which is not that impressive. And the next fact is about the sound fruit. Now, the sound fruit is the first ever fan-made fruit. This fruit is based off of this fan art, which is pretty cool. So you know how the venom flight goes faster the lower your health is? Well, it's the same case for sound too. Look at this. So yeah, pretty W fact right there. But the next one is even more W, and that is with the Phoenix Fruit. Now, the Phoenix Fruit is the first ever fruit to ever get added in a block shoot update. Yeah, the first ever fruit to get added in an update, which is quite an interesting fact. And it used to be called the Bird Phoenix instead of just Phoenix, like how it is right now. It used to be called Bird Phoenix, which is another interesting fact. Let's move on to the next fact, and that is about the portal fruit. Now, the portal fruit used to actually be called the door fruit and used to look much more boring compared to now. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. This is the Z move from before, and this is Z move from now. Yeah, much more plain and lame. This is the X move from before, and this is the X move from now. Look at that, going to a whole different dimension. This is the C move from before and this is the C move from now. Honestly, just this looks kind of the same. And there used to be no V move before, but now we have gotten a V move on the portal fruit. Look at that, much cooler. And this is also the first ever fruit to have its whole rarity chain. Before it also used to be a rare fruit and used to cost 950,000, but now it's in the legendary rarity and cost 1.9 million. But anyways, the next fruit is the rumble fruit. Now, the rumble fruit right here has some cool and useful facts that you can use. Look at this. I'm spamming it. I'm spamming it. I can only teleport three times, but watch how many times I'll teleport. 
I did four teleports right there. Yeah, so if you just keep spamming the F move, eventually you'll be able to do like six teleports. I don't know why this works and I don't know how this works, but uh, yeah. And one more cool thing about this awakening of Rumble is the C move. Now, normally the C move will, you know, look like this. But if you just aim at the sky and use the C move, look what happens. It spawns from much higher, which is a pretty cool fact. But this is actually the most expensive fruit to awaken, even more than the dough fruit, if we include Polvi 2, costing at a solid 19,500 fragments, which is crazy. But the next fruit is the pain fruit. Now, the pain fruit actually used to be called the paw fruit, and that is actually much more suiting because look at this. We fire paws, not pain, which, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. And all of the pain fruit moves have crazy range look at this he's all the way over there and i'm able to damage him target is all the way over there and look at this i'm just gonna fire those moves and that hit and also there's another cool mechanic about this look at this so because we sniped him look at this he has a paw in his chest which is pretty unique all right but the next fact is about the blizzard fruit all the moves are chargeable every single one of them not just the z move which is pretty obvious the z move everybody knows is chargeable but did you know the x move the c move the v move all of them are chargeable look at this see it, it just got charged and then i can do this and i have no clue what it does though i don't think there's any difference hear that frost sound that means it's charged and uh, you can just do the move the next fact is about the gravity fruit now the gravity fruit of course it has been reworked just like many other fruits but did you know if you wanted to see what the old gravity looked like then you can just go on to the fajita boss look at this this guy still uses the old gravity cane and also the old gravity look at this that's the old z move and this is the new one that's the old v move and this is the new v move basically the same thing but you can actually aim it which is pretty cool and also one more fact about gravity is that you have to be touching the ground to do the f move so look i'm gonna try to do it in the air it doesn't work it doesn't work i'm gonna try to do it in the sea it doesn't work but i'm touching the ground and do the f move it grabs a chunk out of the ground and look at this if i just do it on lava then i grab a chunk of the lava and now we're flying on literal lava which is just crazy but now the facts get even crazier when we move on to the mammoth fruit. Look at that damage, 2,228. But if I just transform, I get a 10% damage buff. Look at this. Now it's 2,599. And that's the same thing for each and every move. 2,228. And 2,476. If I just transform, they all have a 10% buff. Look at this, 2,476 on the X move and 2723 on the C move. So yeah, pretty cool fact. And the next fact is also pretty cool. Look at this. He was standing right there and he came to me. Look at this. He's right here. I grabbed him literally out of midair. So yeah, pretty cool facts. All right, but the next fruit is the T-Riz fruit. All right, so first of all, T-Riz and Mammoth are the only fruits that share the same value. Look at this, 2.7 million. And this is also 2.7 million, which is, Pretty unique, I guess. And also, another cool thing is that it is the only fruit that has a hyphen in, it, in its name. This sign. This non-letter character in its name. Pretty cool. But the next fact is about the dough fruit. Now, if you hold the dough fruit M1 for long enough, it goes really far. This is how, it, how far it normally goes if you just tap it. But if you hold it, oh man, it's a whole different story. Also, I can turn on my aura to make it even more longer. Look at this. Oh, yeah. And also, this is the only few fruits that the aura is affected by. Look at this. Look at how it's changing colors. Well, it's because I have the rainbow color. If I just do the V move real quick. See how it's like changing colors too? And this one too. Everything is on your aura color on, on this fruit, which is really nice. The next one is the shadow fruit. Now, the shadow fruit, your umbra meter goes up in the night. And umbra in Latin means shade or shadow and corvus refers to crow or a raven this actually relates with the whole umbra meter and also these bats or crows or ravens which is a pretty cool fact and also you can make your umbra meter go up even faster if you hit people look at that it went up all the way now we can use our v move and it's gonna be huge look at this look at that that view move is huge but if we were to do that without like the full umbra meter then it would be much 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 less impressive look at this 
see how I'm smaller and it's like much much tinier which is a uh, it's quite sad so yeah you need to make sure your umbra meter is all the way up or else shadow is gonna kind of suck but after the shadow fruit we got the venom fruit cool thing about venom is that this f move right here it deals damage look you can just circle around them and look at this bro is literally dying by just me flying oh and he's dead but there's actually another unique thing about this flight the lower your health is the faster you go look at this Look at how fast we're going. Oh my lord. And we made it to the end. But if I were to do that on full HP, you'll just see how much slower we go. Oh, that feels so much slower than before. Oh my god. And we finally made it to the end. Yeah, much slower. The next fact is about the control fruit. This is the only fruit that has two icons. Look at this. This is the normal icon. And this is the icon with the room on. But this control fruit, when you're in the room, look at this. It buffs this sword. Now, normally, the sword is kind of like this. And, uh, you know, this move is like kind of like that. But if I just like, activate my control room right here, look at how much further this will go. And this X move, it has infinite range. Look at that. It's totally different move right there. And, of course, it goes way further, which is crazy but the next fact is about the spirit fruit you see this sun and this angel beside me well these actually used to be a sun and a lightning cloud which is kind of odd honestly i'm glad that they changed it to this it looks much better okay but the next fruit is the dragon fruit now this is one of the few fruits that have not got their fruit model changed yet at the time of this video the dragon rework has not dropped as you can see the king of fruits is temporarily off sale for enhancements stay tuned for its powerful return yeah well this is the only fruit that you can't buy and it's the only fruit that has ever been taken off sale this has literally not happened to any other fruit ever before but the dragon fruit is a pretty cool one look at this if i just transform into a dragon i have the highest damage reduction perk in the entire game but the CDK actually bypasses all of this defense boost. Look at this. It deals so much damage. So yeah, if you ever want to counter the dragon fruit, just use the Curse Duel Katana. And it literally bypasses all that damage boost. And also, look at this black color that I have on the dragon. Pretty cool, right? You can actually switch your color right here. To green, to blue, to red, orange, violet, brown, yellow, white, and black but there's actually a pink color too and it looks kind of like this and only the admins can use this color and i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty jealous that i can't use that color but the next fact is about the leopard fruit oh man the spam demon now the leopard fruit actually used to take no energy on any moves by this clip look at this literally it's taking no energy but now it's of course not the same which is a pretty strange thing by the way moves are supposed to take energy but uh for leopard i guess it didn't for a while and also the c move it gives you a burning effect which gives you a temporary speed buff and also one more cool thing is if you jump 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 and use the x move you can jump again even though i ran out of sky jumps i was able to jump again i can do the same again jump 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 i can literally use the x move to refresh my jumps mid air okay i'm gonna do it again and bro this makes no sense now the last fruit is the kitsune fruit now this fruit is the second fan made fruit to be added in the game and it is the best fruit in the game look at this i got two tails and also in japanese folklore kitsune grow stronger the older they get and are depicted with nine tails which correlates to the block fruits as you get faster as you grow more tails look at this now I got three tails and look at how fast I am. Oh yeah. And this is the only fruit that allows you to mount other players onto yourself. Look at this. And now he can go with me. And I can also attack while he's riding my back. Which is pretty nice. And also one more cool thing about this fruit is that it can surpass the speed of light. Look at this. This isn't even with Mink. This is literally just with Human and Pilot Helmet. I was able to go faster than light. Which is crazy. It makes this fruit truly the fastest fruit in the entire game. And also, this is the only fruit that you can obtain by other ways. That is from the Kitsune Shrine. There's a 1% chance that the Kitsune fruit drops from the Kitsune Shrine. No other fruit has done it like the Kitsune fruit. So yeah, overall, really unique facts and honestly, big W fruit. That was it for the facts. And if you want to learn more secret stuff about block shoots, then click right here and subscribe and bye.